Okay, we're going to do a second application of exponential and logarithmic equations. And these are exponential growth and decay. You notice they both have very familiar formulas. Exponential growth actually uses the same formula as continuously compounded interest. And exponential decay uses the same formula only with a negative interest rate. So we put a minus sign in front of the R. Okay. Now, let's do an exponential growth formula. Generally, this is populations. Okay. So in 2006, the world population was about 6.5 billion. Assuming an exponential growth rate of 1.14% per year, we want to know two things. What do we estimate the population will be in 2020? And when do we estimate the population will reach 8 billion? So we plug in what we know. I'm going to do everything in billions so I don't have to write so many zeros. This is our equation. So for the first one, we want to know what, what the population will be in 2020. Now, I'm not going to be plug plugging 2020 in for t. Because if you notice, 6.5 was my initial or beginning population in 2006. So t is actually going to be the years since 2006. Okay. So in this case, we are looking at a 14-year difference. I plug this into the calculator, and I get approximately 7.6 2477 billion people. Now, this is an approximate both because we rounded and because this equation is predicting how many people will live, and of course we can't do that perfectly accurately. For the second problem, we want to estimate when the population will reach 8 billion. So we're going to plug in 8 for A and solve for T. So, just like before, we want to get rid of the exponential alone. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6.5. And I actually turn that into a fraction just because I don't like decimal expansions. Then I'm going to take a natural logarithm of both sides to cancel that E. And the natural log of E is just the 0.0114T. And so t is what happens when I take this log and divide it by the 0.0114, and I get approximately 37.788 years. Now, the question, however, actually asked, when will the population reach 8 billion? Meaning, what year? So, it is 37.788 years from 2006 when we started counting. So, in this case, the answer to the question will be, we estimate the population will reach 8 billion in the year 2043, which is 37 years from 2006. Now, the most common example of an exponential decay problem is when you're carbon dating something or you're looking at any kind of radioactive decay. So we actually have an additional formula because they don't often give an exponential decay rate. Instead, they give what's called a half-life which is the time it takes for half of the material in question to decay. So, suppose we found a mummy in Egypt that has lost 46% of its carbon-14. Given that the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,750 years, we want to estimate how old the mummy is. Okay. Now, they didn't tell you how much carbon-14 the mummy has, because we, and we don't know how much it started with. So we don't actually know A and P. But this is the beautiful thing. We don't need to know exactly what they are. We just need to know the percentage that is left. So I like to always say that it starts with 100%, so 100, and ending having lost 46%, meaning that 54 is left. And I plug this in. Now my R is ln of 2 divided by that half-life. Don't forget the minus sign in front. And I am, of course, solving for t. And now, this is the same as our previous one. We get the exponential alone. We take a natural log of both sides that will cancel this e. And then t is what we get when we divide both sides by this fraction. So we end up with 5,111.57 years. And that actually makes sense 
A 5,000 year old mummy would put it living in about 3000 BC at the height of the Egyptian kingdoms.